Barely 24 hours after an Abuja court suspends the national chairman of the All Progressives Congress, the APC, rumors of his replacement abound, and under the High Court set aside the previous judgment. And according to the Senate President, Hamid Lawan, the COVID-19 isolation center in Abuja is a mess, and no cover from the 620 million naira has been released. This is Plus Politics, and I am Benny Ark. The suspension of Adams or Shomale was announced only yesterday, but now rumors of the emergence of an acting chairman and the person of former Oyo State Governor Abiola Ajimobi. It however seems like the ambassador Shomale would not take the suspension sitting down as he has already appealed the judgment. And in a surprising turn of events, a federal high court in Kano has set aside the ruling of the FCT High Court suspending him. Joining me this evening on Plus Politics is Mokhtel Mohammed, a political analyst. Good evening to you, Mokhtel. Mm -hmm. And also Sam Adeliki, political analyst. Good evening to you, Sam, Good and evening. thank you for joining us. Now, barely 24 hours after the announcement of a suspension, we're seeing a ton of events. How, how do you react to this, Mokhtel? Not surprising. <laughs> Uh, you know, Shomele is a cat with nine lives. He will always fight. You don't expect him. And of course, he has been fighting these battles. He knows, like he said later on, uh, earlier on today, that after meeting the president, he knows some governors and the serving minister that is against him. And that, well, I think he got it all wrong from the inception when he was suspended from the world level. I think that was when he was supposed to fight it from the court, not nice or more or less like messing after that. Yes. And as a party, the constitution says you get um, become a party member from your ward level. So when you're suspended in your ward level, how do you now become the national chairman? You're a suspended member because everything starts from the ward level. That's why when you want to do your vote, you have to go to your ward level. So for me, it's not surprising. It just um, shows APC is a house that is not in order. And that is also telling. That could see why we have those issues in the federal, federal level with economic hardship, a lot of the, it is happening because I don't think the party was really prepared to rule Nigeria that long. They were surprised that they eventually rule in this country and after the first thing, I don't think they are prepared because for the ruling party to be involved in such disgraceful act, whether the police, the DSS, will have to block the serving chairman. After that, he has to... It, it's all showing a lot of um, issues that are... How did you make um, Ajimobi the acting national chairman when you were at, at a point you had the somebody that you're supposed to make the acting national secretary. You didn't go ahead with that. But immediately you were suspended. You realized that Boloma was supposed to be the acting national secretary. You're forgotten that you have this vice president, not East, which is actually supposed to be the one that was stepping. Yes. Because you're not a good time with him, you make sure that he doesn't step in. So it's, a, it's all about politics in the APC. I, I don't know how far this will drag them to. Right. Now, Sam, as said yesterday, clearly, after the court um, ruling of the suspension of the APC national chairman, we, we didn't hear so much from the National Working Committee of the APC. Um, people were trying to know who were the people that moved um, for this suspension. Members of the party were not saying so much. The National Working Committee was not saying so much. But since today, we realized the National Working Committee, since the court ruling came out, and they've also started appointing new members in the, in the, in the National Committee, uh, committee of, the, of the APC. What's your take on this? You know, go, going through that list yes. of the um, appellants, or rather the, the the people that instituted you know this court case. Yes. Looking at the, the vice president from the northeast, and then the chairman of the Edo State yes. um, chapter, you know, and then other unfamiliar fellows. It, it simply shows that the Edo State, the former Edo State governor, who is national the suspended national chairman, as obviously taking things for granted. Because oftentimes when you are in a position of power, the national chairman of the largest party, party in Africa, that was the way PDP bragged then. So apparently well, the ruling yeah, party. Yes, the ruling yes, party, yes. you know. You, you think that you have so much absolute power and you did not um, look at the intricacies and those loose ends. So, so apparently we are in a case whereby we started politicking already. It appears we are so good at politicking in Nigeria and not so good at nation building. Because this is apparently 
uh, drama towards the 20, November, November 2020 election in the two states. And elect, interestingly, from this November, there's going to be an election every year to 2023. Yeah. So the, the question now is, how do we even ensure we have a stable political terrain? Because these, these are indices that, that, that investors look at. You know, when when looking at how to invest, how to um, scale, and how to put Nigeria in the scheme of things, this is not what a ruling party should do. And interestingly, while talking about what, what, what the president did, because when he went to the president, the, the report said the president was just mum, was quiet as usual, and then he's just watching as things play out. And interestingly. The powers that be, so to speak, because we all know the powers that be, the people who are against Oshomale, people who Oshomale offended supposedly during this past election, they are the ones against um, or they are the ones for, for this move and also backing the current Edo State Governor. But let's see how this will play out because it, 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 it's interesting. For, for me, I, I don't pity these politicians. They are all the same. They are simply looking for platforms to ride to power and to fulfill their own selfish interest. Because if it's a um, battle of ideology, if it's a battle of ideas, if it's a battle of principles, then we can, you know, put our, our chest forward and say, you know, this is this should not be treated this way. But they are all just, you know, same same children now, of the same okay. mother. Now, interestingly, um, Oshomele has <laughs> appealed the, the judgment. How do you see this panning out? Mokta? <laughs> he appealed the judgment yeah. in Abuja to an, uh, the appeal court, which yeah. is the right thing to do. Then somebody helped him somewhere in can to see that she said aside the yes, yeah. he, it, it it's just called it, it I mean in law I think that's rascality because if he has gone to the federal appeal court in Kanu he's setting aside the judgment of a high court in Abuja, in Abuja. that is understandable you say going to a, a, a high court gave to give I mean issued the, the, the national I mean the suspension the suspension yeah. and now you now go to an high court to vacate the suspension it just shows you that it's, it, it, it's all about not following the rule of law like they plan that they are. Because this same Oshomole was the same person that was telling us why um, um, Bayesa State will have to be without a government, a governor, because this is what the rule of law says, and he have gotten his advice from his lawyer. And I think if I were him, whoever is my lawyer, at this time I need to be sending me out because he have advised me wrongly in every issue. Because if the lawyer have advised him rightly, by now, he would have been able to appeal the decision of his suspension from the world level in Edo State, which is the genesis of the whole problem. Yeah. Then knowing fully well that the, 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 executive, well, the executive of that party in that state that gave him that suspension is the executive that is recognized by INEC. So he should have done the needful by going to court to set aside that judgment. Yes. That would have helped him in the so, but he played into their hands. Like he said, he told the power that be are for me, so I, anything. I, 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 I will be able to do. But unfortunately for him, it, it seems that everything is falling apart for him now. Right. Now, joining us by phone is legal practitioner Liberos Oshoma. Good evening, Liberos, and thank you for joining us. Liberos, good evening. Uh, we'll come to Liberos later. Now, now this is it. Um, it's it, interestingly, I mean, also, Reports have reached us that, um, well, we've talked about it, that the Kano State, um, the uh, Kano um, Court set aside the rule of the FCD High Court. Do, do you see this? How do you see this playing out eventually? I, I just hope another court will not bring up another injunction again because this, uh, this has now become like procuring judgments at Ayala Market, just like um, the Justice Nikki Toby, you know, said some years ago. You know, uh, unfortunately, the, the temple of justice is the one that takes the eat in cases like this because the politicians now use these allowed chambers of justice to, 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 what's the word now, to drive home their, their, their grievances, which, which should not be. Because it, it, it simply means that once I have money and I have influence, I can go to a court in Kebi, in Bayosa, to get a judgment and to dispel and to dis, you know to 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 nullify one that was gotten the previous day. So I, I think ultimately there's going to be a political solution from the look of this, okay. and it's also going to be a solution that will come from the executive himself because this is about power play. If the president does not give the IG or hasn't given the IG or the DSS the power to deploy those men to the secretariat today, then we'll be talking, this, this will be the story today. So apparently, we're still going to wait and see how 
the, the, the executive led by the president and national party leadership, those who are behind the scenes, those who do not talk, so to speak, the way they decide is what is going to be um, the, the fate of this man. And let's not um, re re forget the fact that national chairmen of parties in Nigeria really don't last. Their, their life cycle, their lifespan in office is usually two, three, four, it's rare to see a four-year national party chairman because they are always stepping on someone's shoes. There, 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 are no, there are no elder statesmen as party chairmen. There, there are people who are just also, you know, just first among equals. One who, one godfather loved somewhere, and then, so apparently Ajimobi is doing something right. That's why he's being favored, because he was not even part of the NWC. Yeah, we'll, come, yesterday... we'll, come, we'll come to the matter of Ajimobi <laughs> in just a moment. And now with us via phone is legal practitioner, Liberos Oshoma. Good evening, Liberos. Yeah, good evening. And thank you for joining us this evening on Plus Politics. My pleasure. All right. Now, a court suspended Adam Oshomala yesterday from being um, the chairman of the APC and the national chairman of the APC. I just want to ask you from a legal perspective, how, how legal and right is this? Uh, first and foremost, uh, it, it is um, judgments like, or others like this that put the judiciary in, um, you know, serious um, ridicule. If you remember, the Supreme Court had frowned at um, granting reckless injunction. The, the crux of the matter, actually, is the fact that uh, some people had gone to court to say Oshomole had been suspended and that so he should be removed as um, the party chairman. This is no longer a member of the party, I won't be suspended. Oshomole's suspension also it's an issue in the matter in that same court, in the substantive matter. So one wouldn't have expected that at the preliminary stage, and it's an issue that the judge would be granting an order suspending Oshomole, which is akin to hearing the final matter at the substantive stage. The worst one would have expected a judge to do at that stage would be to grant accelerated hearing on the matter. You know, but to take the, the step the judge has taken now is similar to taking a final step, you know, while the matter is just beginning. What will not be his outcome when he finally hears, you know, the case? I think that was not bad enough. The Shumonen faction now also has rushed to the Federal High Court. I also must agree with you that the Federal High Court has one jurisdiction. So um, any federal high court, in anywhere is federal high court. You can sue in Lagos, you can sue in um, Kanu, you can sue in Kaduna. The court established that jurisdiction, even in the Boris case, when Ibori was charged in Kaduna, and they, they contested that the matter ought to be heard in Asaba. And the court ruled that the federal high court is one jurisdiction. That's an aspect. But they also had rushed the federal high court to get an order, you know, it's almost as if the, the order now is a contrary order to the first order that was granted yesterday. Okay, so let, let me let me let the me, pronouncement yes. of both judges. Yes, it was as if you know they had delved into the main matter. The other one said police stop him from entry. The Kano one said police escort him into the office. You know, it's as if you know. They have personal interest in the matter. For me, it's very childish. Okay, so let me ask you this. Um, legally speaking, given that the, 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 the Federal High Court in Kano has also set aside the ruling of the Abuja High Court, do no, you no, see no. Do you, do you the judgment standing? Sure. The Federal High Court couldn't have set aside the Abuja High Court um, uh, ruling. They are part of what is the jurisdiction. The matter in uh, the Federal High Court it's a separate matter. So the Federal High Court, the same way the High Court in Abuja gave its own ruling, that is similar way the High, Federal High Court gave its own ruling. It didn't set aside the one in Abuja. So eventually, how, how do you think all of this is going to pan out, given all of the hula baloo in, in the APC as it stands right now? And you also you always know we are back to the era of conflicting judgments. You remember, even when PDP had their crisis, one PDP, one court in Porta Court will give judgment for the one in Abuja will give judgment against.
depending on where the governor has strength. And until the Court of Appeal came to harmonize the positions, or the Supreme Court harmonized a particular position and heard that, you know, McAfee should rightly be, you know, the national chairman of the party. And so that's what we are back to again now in the case of APC. If we are not seeing the end, you're going to see some other courts and conflicting judgments. Until maybe it's Court of Appeal harmonize all of these issues. And unfortunately, the judiciary will always be a pawn in the hands of politicians to ridicule the judiciary itself. All right, Liberal Soshoma, legal practitioner, thank you very much for joining us and for your contribution. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Now, the, the governor of Edo State, Godwin Obasaki, while reacting to this ruling, did say that nobody is God. Do, do you think Adam, do you think Adams or Oshoma portrayed himself to be the, the Alpha and Omega and the untouchable? I have a different view when it comes to the, um, the fight between Obaseki and, Obaseki and Oshoma. And okay. Because it was an Oshomola that took an Obaseki from Lagos to go and become the, his special assistant. He, Obaseki was never a politician. He had never had any political post. So uh, it's more or less like biting the finger that feeds you. Because ordinarily, if Oshomola was not acting as a god, Obaseki wouldn't have come out as, his, as a candidate of APC. So he shouldn't forget that. So if he say oh, nobody is God, he should not forget that Shomole acted as God to make him the candidate of the APC and to even want Then won what the is the cause of their political difference as it stands right now in Edo State? It's all about interest. Yeah. That's what I just feel. It's all about interest. Shomole doesn't think um, Obasaki is beating his interest like he ought to be because, like he said one time they had a meeting, he said even after the meeting, they agreed in the meeting that's one of his, um, I mean, somebody that was his cabinet member should remain. But immediately the government went, the governor, after that meeting, the governor sacked that same person. So it's all about interest. They are not looking at the interest of the Edo people here. They are looking at the interest of them as individuals. That is the challenge of politics in Nigeria. Nobody look at the interest of the people. Everybody tend to look at the interest, their own personal interest. Remember that there are lawmakers that, lawmakers that are supposed to be doing law in the state that are not doing law in Abuja with Oshomole. It's, I mean, it's, 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 it just shows that he, he actually has not crowned himself in glory Oshomole, also pretending to be the godfather of Edo politics. I'm forgetting that he said that he came into Edo State to dismantle godfatherism. And now, today, he wants to be the godfather of Edo State. So there's a lot of issues between Oshomole and Obasiki. But we see Oshomole is playing like God. He, he, he has been playing like God ever since. And if he was not playing like God, if he was not believing like God in Edo State APC, um, Gaius Obasiki wouldn't have become the governor of Edo State. Now, Sam, he also did say that the, the exit of Oshomole, the suspension of Oshomole as the national chairman of the APC, will bring about relative an atmosphere of peace to, to the party. Do, do you see this any way happening? I mean, obviously, to all onlookers right now, mm. there definitely is um, an internal rocus within the APC party. Do mm. you see the exit of Oshoma really bringing about an atmosphere of peace and, and stability to the APC? I, as I, I, I disagree. Okay. Because apparently, as of today, Oshoma as the foundations and the pillar and the structures of APC firmly in his grip right now. And that is why the governor and his team are so ruffled. If Oshemole is not a threat, if his suspension or a removal will cause a lose, a, a, a lose of the grip, then they will not be disagitated. But he will not go down without a fight. And in fact, I'm sure they will, not, they will not be sleeping right now. Between yesterday and today, they were doing meetings back to back, back to back. For, for many of all the, for all the lawmakers to be behind this guy, and also for the apparatus of power to be showing their indifference, so to speak. Ultimately, we will see who will win this. But for until November, that peace cannot win, I can assure you. Mm. It, it, will, it will be war, political war in Edo State and in the APC until. Because aside Edo State, Oshomole has also offended lots of people. So there are people who are gunning for his neck and people who, do, who think that if this man should continue to 2023, even my own ambition as a governor, as a senator, as an House of Rep, or as, as, as an appointee, will be at stake. So it's, it's, it's a case of trying to be, be proactive. Now, how can we nip this thing in the bud? But for now, there won't be peace until we see how the following... Okay, I think I have a different view when it comes to who is on ground. Because when you talk about the party structure, you are talking about who are the executives. 
assistants now, the executive that were loyal to Oshomole, including the deputy governor, seems to be loyal to Obaseki, Obaseki. At, at the moment. So Obaseki seems to have the structure because he called the factional chairman. And the factional chairman, which happened to belong to Oshomole faction, are not recognized by INEC. So they cannot even conduct an election. Hmm. So both from the ward level, that's why it was easy for the to be so now remember that the suspension is not being said that it was suspended by a factional or a non-executive uh, existing executive. Yes. It's the real executive of the of the of the party that's in that state that actually suspended him. So that shows that he has loose group grip of the party structure, which happened to be the executives of every party in the state. That is what every governor tried to have control over. The executive of the party of the state. That was what wrote me Amechi did not have control when he was governor of River State. That was why he left the, the, the PDP for the APC because mm -hmm. he had no control of who was the chairman of the party in the okay. state. Now let's deliberate a little bit on the issue of um, former your state governor Ajimobi um, being in the stead of Adams or Sherman. Do, do you see him in any way right in the wrongs in the, in the APC party? I think but now not, uh, nobody seems to be um, showing interest in Ajimobi. Nobody's really looking at that side because I it think... It's a sudden emergency. It's a sudden picture. emergency. Yes. Remember that when it was same Oshomole faction, the National Publicity Secretary of APC that came out and said he's now the National the Vice Chairman South... I mean, is it South, Southwest of the, of, of, the, of the APC? Now, the same people came out again and said... Um, they, 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 they now appointed somebody to be an auditor also. It was done, then appointed the national, acting national secretary to take over immediately. Meanwhile, they had a meeting in January whereby it was proposed that the former secretary is now the governor of Yobo State. So they had a new acting national secretary. They were supposed to give a Buluma the new acting, but it was kept in the cooler because Oshomole doesn't think that Buluma is loyal to him. Mm. So immediately he was suspended. You know, the next senior executive was the Northeast, the vice chairman, Northeast, which happened not to be in good time with him. So he immediately called in the, that now it has been agreed by the National Working Committee that Buluma is the secretary. Then put um, um, Ajimobi, which everybody that is politics know that as it stands now, Ajimobi does not even have control of the Southwest. Mm. Neither even in, even in his own state, in uh, Oyo State, Oyo State, where he was an ex-governor, there are some aggrieved members of that party. Even after that decision was made, making him even the, ch the chairman of the Southwest, the, a, an aggrieved member, a local government chairman in Vini Kitty State, have already gone to court. Now, a, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Given all of the leadership tossed within the APC right now, are we eventually seeing a disintegration of the party as it stands right now? I honestly... Okay look forward to that because APC has, has done Nigeria wrong. Um, I, I, I recall 2015, I, I remember that day when that change of power was, was that ceremony at, at the Eagle Square Abuja, it was a fresh um, um, hair, it was a breath of fresh air rather. You know, we, we felt that, oh, this is hope, this is a new beginning, this is a departure from the past. But so far, it's as we have, we have gone backwards. In terms of leadership, in terms of, of, of nation building, in terms of national coercion, in, in terms of uniting this country, in terms of um, nepotism, what, what this, what this um, APC has done, my goodness. So I think that let's, 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 let's see as things play out. And, and for some of us, we will, we will challenge the younger ones of our generation, those who came out in 2019 and who are going to sleep now. This is the time to wake up. When you see these older generation, these APC um, oldies who are fighting among themselves just for the spouse of war, this is time to regroup. Don't wait 2023 when you start doing last minute uh, mobilization. Because I believe that the opportunity here is for younger comrades who are more progressive, who truly have the, 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 the national interest at heart, they should come together and start building consensus nationally so that once these guys unravel and all everything fall apart, then we can, we can rise up. Now, Mokhtar, there could be a rippling effect. There could be a boomerang. There could be 
a, a possible disintegration. What, what is your reaction to all of this leadership tussle within the APC as a stand? Uh, APC was um, a party of strange failures coming together for a common goal. The only goal they had at that time was to remove the PDP from power, which they were able to achieve. After that, they seems not to have direction on what next they want to do. That's the challenge. So I'm not surprised. Remember that people have predicted that APC will disintegrate even before the last election. They survive it, and like most of the governors, even say like uh, the, 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 the governor, is it the, the governor of Kaduna State, or one of the governors, I can't remember, said that APC being alive now is just because of one man, Muhammad Buhari. So by the time his tenure comes to an end, will there still be an APC? I doubt it so much. There might be an APC, there might be factions. We're already seeing that play out. Even in way, we, with the PDP, you could even understand that it play out towards the, the election, because of the fear that good luck Jonathan was trying to impose himself, the power was supposed to shift to the other side and it came. But when you look at the APC itself, it is just right from the day President Mohamed Buhari got his second term, the APC infighting started. And that has been the bane of APC up to now. It is, it, it, APC is like a dormant volcano that have been in existence from 2015 seems to be there, but there are a lot of different ideology, and they have not been able to synchronize the ideology together to move the country forward, and that's why we are where we are today. Mokhtar Mohammed, political analyst, thank you for your contribution in this segment, and also Sam Adelike, thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you. And thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now, and when we return, the Senate President and the Finance Ministry disagree on the release of 620 million naira for COVID-19 treatment center. Do stay with us.